so in this video i'll guide you through the installation and the use of a bibliometric app to help you in your bibliometric analysis the app is called biblioshiny um, this um, text file summarizes all the steps that you need to take in order to make biblioshiny work but in this whole process i'll be showing you the interface the the actual um, um, image of the software involved and how it works based on how i i understand the limited knowledge so we begin by installing a software that is called uh, R Studio or R. Um, the links are here. You have a link for the R Studio. I have it here in Google Chrome. Uh, just click on download and install R and it will point you to this um, web uh, site where you can download uh, C R A N CRAN and that one is uh, an acronym for comprehensive R archive network so ito yung kailangan niya yung, yung link na ito download R for Windows okay, so yun lang install using this link um, crun.rstudio.com Okay, so pag install mo siya, this is the interface of the RStudio or RGUI, graphic interface. Okay, so ganito lang. Um, it's like a coding software um, much like the, the console of Windows. Uh, so, you just type in this uh, the, the this this line where you have the greater than sign or like an arrow. Ta type mo lang dyan, and then it will uh, it will do as you uh, code. Pero meron lang dalawang codes na kailangan ninyo to make it work. So once you have R Studio installed, um, meron dalawa lang kayo na kailangan type. Of course, kailangan mo na mag-download pala no ng ng packages for BiblioShiny. So, ito yung engine behind the mm -hmm. BiblioShiny application. Um, kailangan mo i-download yung BiblioShiny. Dito siya mag-run sa R Studio. So, what you do is go to Packages and then Install Package. So, when you do that, equivalent din sa pag-type ng, ano, ng uh, code. Pero nga dahil... Uh, graphic user interface na to. Uh, mas madali. No? So, again, uh, you go to packages and install package. Kailangan mo install yung bibliometrics na package. So, um, marami kang pwedeng pagpilian na source. Ang pinili ko ay East Asia. I think any, any source can, any area will work. And then, ito na yung kailangan mo. Hanapin mo yung bibliometrics from among these packages. So, letter B, BIB. Um, isa lang yan. No? Bibliometrics should be here. Yan. Just bibliometrics. And then, press OK. And then, it will install. Okay? Medyo matagal siya. Madami siyang nag-install. Puro mga text. Akala mo nag-error na. But, just let it finish. Once it's finished, you're done with um, this part number three. Doon ka na sa number four. And, and ito na yung isa sa only two codes that you need to type. So, naka-install na yung uh, RStudio. Naka-install na din yung Bibliometrics Library. So, you can now start and try to use uh, Biblio Shiny. Okay? So, mag-open ulit ako ng R, uh, GUI. So, i-type ko dito um, library 
open parenthesis uh, biblio metrics with an x the one that you the package that you downloaded and then press enter upon doing that it will of course automatically recognize biblio shiny the second and the last code that you need to type is biblio shiny biblio shiny with open and close parentheses what will happen here is that it will open a browser kung saan niya ipe-play yung software. Okay. Ito na. So, nag-open siya sa aking Google Chrome because Google Chrome is my default browser. And then, ang makikita niyong uh, URL ay mga numbers lang. Okay. 127.0.0, etc. So, this is the interface of the Biblio Shiny app. So, hindi siya naiba sa BOS Viewer it will provide uh, graphs for bibliometric analysis. But I find this really nice because it's organized, because it gives a lot more than what I got from the VOS viewer. So, what you need to do? So, sabihin natin, mayroon na kayo ng Biblio Shiny. Paano siya gagana? Remember that you have your um, CSV file containing the bibliometric data of your paper, right? So, yung, the same CSV file that you used in your VOS viewer, yun din ang gagamitin nyo dito. So, go to data and then load data. After that, at the right side here, choose what you want to do. You import raw file. And then, database, you go to Scopus and then click on browse. And you locate the file that you have, the Scopus file. No? So mine is Scopus 6 here. And then you will see that it will upload with animation here. And then you have the start button here. So what you do is to click on start. And that's it. So the good thing about this Biblio Shiny, sa uh, umpisa pa lang, it will present to you your uh, like a summary of your bibliometric uh, or bibliographic metadata which uh, I didn't uh, know from VOS viewer na marami pala or lahat pala ng mga uh, bibliometric pen toys po ay uh, walang number of cited references, science categories completely missing and poor doon sa keywords keywords plus and, and so on yung ilan sa mga papers. But for everything else, excellent. Abstract, affiliation, author, cited reference, and so on. Pwede mo i-save ito, pero nagkaka-problema yung save function, uh, saving it as a picture. Later on, ipaliwanag ko na lang. So, I encountered an error uh, earlier na pagka-click ko nitong save, nag-gray yung screen. Na-access ko pa yung app, pero parang wala nangyayari. Huwag nyo na lang muna i-save. Okay, maybe you can screenshot if you want. So, I'll close this. Uh, it will present all your papers here. Pero of course, ang mahalaga yung kailangan natin. Once you have your data. This is the first thing. Uh, overview. And this is what I like about the Biblio Shiny. You go to main information it will give you like a summary in a silver plate. It tells the number of sources, the number of documents I have right now is 196. It tells you the annual growth of the papers, 10.78% per year. Okay, So something that you will later on comment or write, including your paper. The number of authors involved in my uh, bibliometric analysis, 565, and so on. All of these. Huh? And then, of course, something you will also find in Scopus and VOS Viewer, scientific production. Yeah. So, you will note that mayroong mga buttons sa itaas. Yung down button is to export as PNG. Okay? Mamaya pakita ko sa inyo mga PNG uh, na na-export ko and so on, okay? So you have average citations per year. And then, again, what I liked here, so you have the overview, and then you have other um, 
tabs here. Sources, authors, and so on. When you do your bibliometric analysis later on, <clears throat> remember that the VOS viewer provides graphs for um, uh, authors or keywords. Meron din dito even even better, I would say. Look at uh, this dito sa documents. Um, the list of most global cited documents. So there are times when you click, nothing appears. You need to press the play button here. There's a blue circle play button. Bago niya i-display. And then it will display. Um, this is nice, no? You have most frequent words. Most frequent words. I play that and then it will show this. It can also generate a word cloud for uh, most frequently used words and so on. Okay? Conceptual structure. Ito na. Yung mga mahalagang parts. No? Co-occurrence network. I press play. Something that uh, VOS viewer can also provide. We have it also here. Pwede uh, na lang kayo kung saan gusto. And then, dito mo siya pwedeng palitan, no? Pwedeng uh, author's keywords only. Press the play button again. So, it will dis update and display. So, ito lang yung mga author's uh, keywords. Ayan. And then, for intellectual structure, another important uh, analysis you need to make. Co-citation network. Let's play this one. Okay. So, next meeting natin will be on... Ayan. Co-citation, let's say, um, week, you want to check authors, co-citation. Solving linear equation and graphing. Ayan. How authors are graphing related. There's something here that I really uh, like compared to VOS no. Viewer or Scopus. Ito yung collaboration so uh, network. So, for the collaboration network, you will see here uh, collaboration of uh, countries. Ayan. And especially the world map. So, this is, I think, the, the something that, that the VOS viewer cannot, cannot give us. So, when you click on the countries collaboration world map, it will give you really the world map. With, um, I don't know, with, with how the existing papers are connected via via the map. Okay, so wala masyadong connection dito sa aking area of study. But it shows the world map. No? So I, I was looking at uh, different bibliometric uh, analysis paper and I, I don't, uh, I, I see most of the time may mga world map. No? Pero dito pala galing mo. And of course, you know that there are so many other apps. Uh, pa ditong report. Ayan. Because any of those uh, outputs, pag kinlik mo yung plus, isasama niya as a report. I haven't actually tried that. But maybe you can explore further. The list that uh, is provided by this app will be, of course, those extra graphs and maybe insights that VOS viewer and maybe uh, Scopus Analyze does not provide. Okay, so maganda more, uh, the better. So that's it. I hope that uh, it works for you as well. Yun na lang. Bye.